Hello Pisces and welcome to Bun Sagittarius. My name is Robin. And Pisces, today we are going to do a reading about the person on your mind. We're going to find out what they're thinking about you, what they're feeling about you, what you need to know about them, if there's anything in there, and what you can expect. So talk, Pisces, let's talk about this person on your mind. Spirit guides, how are they feeling about Pisces? Wedding. So this situation involves marriage. So you guys could be married, or you could be in a long-term commitment, or somebody could be leaving one, but I hope. Uh, let's find out. So let's see. But either way, this generally means someone that they're committed to or see as a long-term. So Pisces, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So let's get into this. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Hermit in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's the Queen of Wands. I can't stop thinking about you. Ooh, and the Queen of Pentacles. Can't see that one. So your person's like obviously with the eight of swords here they're in their head a lot here they're thinking there's a nine of pentacles there's a two of cups and on the bottom of the deck is the star they're thinking about how they're you <laughs> thinking about how much they want you with the hermit in reverse they're i'm not sure if there's been a separation but they're feeling pretty lonely when they're not with you here so what do you want to say about the eight of swords well that flew out Woo! they're thinking about wow okay so for some of you uh they're thinking about a proposal so some of you take that how it resonates they want to escalate things to the next level um their life is better with you in it so the page of wands and the four of wands this could definitely be someone getting on their knee and proposing to you this could definitely be someone who wants to marry you but this is someone who wants long term this is someone who's thinking about planning about um that's what they want with you they have a lot of they that that's what they want with you that's what they're thinking <laughs> Like I said, their life is better with you in it. Um, maybe they're finding the right way to propose. If you're not at that stage, they just want to bring this to the next level of commitment. Like they want to raise the stakes here with you. Um, what is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? The Five of Cups. Like I said, it, like you might have a really, this person just picture when they picture their life without you, they don't like it. Like they don't want it. This person's completely in love with you. They think you're their soulmate. They want to spend their life with you. They're their dream come true. You're the queen of wands. You're sexy, attractive, gorgeous, charismatic. Um, a lot of fun, I'm hearing. So you might be very funny, Pisces, or just be a lot of, you're just a lot of fun. But you're caring. Like you're not, you don't have fun at the expense of others. <laughs> you're an inclusive person. What do you want to say about this? Because I see them just liking everything. Like, the judgment in reverse and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, the nine of pentacles twice. So they're a little bit, they love your independence. So this person likes that you don't need them. So they might need a lot of independence too, um, which would be why they're nervous and trying to figure out the right way to make this happen. But this person, like I said, when they think about life without you, they they don't like it. They might have a little bit of um, fears that that might be reality, which is why they want to lock it down. But Either way, they don't want, they, they want a partnership, but they want to keep their independence because there's both the Nine of Pentacles came out twice here. So this is a person that um, they want to, they might be slightly afraid of losing their independence as you go through this, or you might be slightly afraid of losing your independence. Someone's slightly afraid of that. Um, so be aware that that fear is there. But um, yeah, with the sun in reverse, there's the hermit. They know. They know what they want and they like literally they, you are their soulmate to them Pisces. So you can expect a romantic um, proposal of some sort, <laughs> whether it's just trying to take this to the next level. For many of you, you are going to be receiving a proposal. This reading is for a couple who someone who wants to spend their life with you. So let's get a few Oracle messages. We'll find out where you guys in a month are in one month. So what do you have to surrender to when it comes to this proposal from this person? What does Pisces need to surrender to here? Surrender low self-esteem. So you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Hmm, the person on your mind, the caring connection between Pisces and this person, please. What do you want to say? Oh, Cupid. That's what I'm saying. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. And this person is head over heels in love with a you. <laughs> and the truth and truth so they could say something to the piscines what would they say right now what would your person say to you what is the hidden truth spirit guides tell us their secrets what do we need to know i feel you leaving me behind maybe that's why they have that feeling they don't want you they um maybe that's what that feeling is okay 
So what do you need to let go of, Pisces? What does Pisces need to let go of? I just like these. They're not really part of the... Okay, that was then. This is now. Let go of last year, last week, and yesterday and live in the moment and truly enjoy the moment when they get down on their knees for those of you who are going to be having that experience in the next couple weeks. So let's get your potential outcome, Pisces. So let's find out where you are in a month. I say potential because there's always free will. You're going to make your choices. So is this person. And then again, outcome is where are you in a month? How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Where, where's Pisces? Can't even talk. Where's Pisces and this person in a month? Do they accept the proposal? Are they more committed? Are they in love? Are they the four of wands? What are they? What do you want to say? Talk to us. Ooh, we have the Empress. Okay. What do we have with her? So we have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Hermit in reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have some... Interesting energy. So the Six of Swords means moving forward with the Empress. Very abundant new beginning. Moving forward to something that has a lot of potential. Some of you might even have pregnancy. The Empress is all about abundance and fertility. So some of you might be pregnant or planning that part of your life. But take that how it resonates if that's... The Eight of Swords, no more thinking about this. This person took their action. They kind of got out of their own way. I feel like they were kind of blocking things by thinking about everything too much. And, and just they just got in their own way. Um, you guys are working on this with the three of pentacles. I feel like you're balanced. You're in a good spot. But then we have the hermit in reverse and then knight of pentacles in reverse. So there is still some kind of, um, let's find what this is. You know, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, and I just want to clarify it before I say anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and they need, they require a lot of reassurance. So they just feel like there's a lot of people that want your attention and they just want a lot of your attention. They just require a lot of reassurance, a lot of, um, you know, some people just like to be touched or held or hugged or told how beautiful they are or told how handsome they are, or how appreciated they are. They're just one of these people that needs to hear that. So I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> That's what I was feeling with this. They feel like if like, um, they just wanted that acknowledgement, um, Really, that's what they want to say. <laughs> so don't forget to show your appreciation and look to the little things and the little ways to this person because they'll, I feel like they'll get a little bit kind of sulky or maybe even a little bit moody um, if they don't. And that might annoy you a little bit. It might be a little bit of an obstacle that you run into. But um, other than that, you guys are in a good place. <laughs> you're working on things and you're moving forward abundantly. Um, so that's what I got for you, Pisces, and the person on your mind. Let's get your final message to close this off. If you like my reading, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. I always appreciate the support. Let's get your messages here. So you must hold your quiet sensor where you, where you do what only you can do. Choose stillness as an active practice of patience. It is okay to wait. You will get where you need to be. If monks and nuns do not cherish their time to practice, they will have nothing to offer the world. Find peace in your extraordinary efforts. Your work is not in vain. And the universe wove you from a constellation. Just so every atom, every fiber, you come from a different star. Reconnect with the creative influences you've been drawn to throughout your life. Sorry, I'm not on camera. My apologies. Um, and how they have affected the person you become. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.